That's Yazin. This is Yazin. This is the homie. See, I thought this was Cyclops. I just looked at the I just looked at the eyes. I didn't look at the clothes and stuff. This is my dude, Yazin. So after I recorded that thing, then I was stuck thinking, oh wait a minute, that doesn't even make sense. Because then that would have if 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 Mads was the guy going back and forth, then that would have meant that there's two of them. There's a shadow realm, or that one of them came through on the ninth, then went back to 86, then somehow went back in time four days, then went back to 53. So then Noah wrote, you know, 511. Then he goes back, then he goes back or forward and then forward again. Because one of them was found uh, like to kickstart everything, you know, more or less, right? So, okay, we, we know 33 years, but then how do you make up the difference in the four days between the 9-11? And I'm like, what, what's going on? But it's not him. So forget that. Yazin. Okay. So what I think is the date that Noah writes on the wall is the date that a kid came through. I kind of got to make like a, a jump there. It's not directly you know, supported, no one outright says it, but I'm going to make a jump and say the dates that he writes on the wall is the date in which a kid appeared there and both him and Helge did their thing. Doesn't necessarily have to be that. I think that's what it is. So we have Yazin who's taken in 2019, moved through the tunnel, placed in the chair, in 86, taken from the chair back into 53, and he got his eyes burned off. Then Helge dumps the body. There's also another date, the 5th, and another kid fits this profile. So I'm assuming this is Obendorf. So then there's the question of there's two kids in the forest for 66 years, unless, you know, they show something else. But then that also brings up a couple questions. Why was one of the kids taken in 86, placed in the chair and moved forward? And then why were these kids taken 33 years after that, walked through the tunnel or put whatever, pushed through the tunnel, placed in the chair, and then they go backwards? So that I don't know. The other thing is, I th the more I thought about it, I think this scene when Johannesburg opens the door and Una Charlotta does this, like she turns like that. I think geographically the tunnel is directly underneath this room with the big ass power cable. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's just supposed to show that this chair is getting its, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to say that they're getting power from the tunnel underneath it or like it's tapping into the tunnel underneath it in order to fuel whatever it's doing. So the next thing is if you if you have access to time travel and you know how to time travel and you can already successfully bring someone else with you, right? You can successfully travel through time. Why do you need to make a chair? Why do you need to make another device? But the only reason you would need to make another device is if it does something different, right? If it breaks the 33 year rule or if some other additional effect uh, or if it changes something else that you can't get through the tunnel. Um, otherwise, you just you just use the tunnel, right? There's no reason to invest and research and try doing all this stuff and it's doing something different evidenced by the kids coming through not going through the tunnel right they're doing it a different way but their eyes are being burned off and they're dying i think that's it let's go episode eight also okay well not episode eight is yet. this thing i have to imagine this is the bunker, that same bunker in 20, 
52. Helge. Cool looking kid. He's got his like prayer beads here, looks like. Oh. 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 Oh, well, they didn't last too long, I guess. So then this is kind of cool. This thing is kind of cool. You know, the subtext behind this scene. He's driving past this guy in broad daylight. He's technically looking for him. I mean, you know, we know that. I like the music here. So he put him, I mean, you put him there right in front of the sign, right? For a reason. That means the homie made it to one of the doors. Don't mess, don't mess with his ears. Look at the disdain. Seems just humiliating there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he ends up in a wheelchair, so that's fair enough. So, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure I didn't think about that. The tags and the clothes. I mean, so this, so it, you have to imagine something is different this time because otherwise i don't want to say there's no point to telling the story but otherwise it's just a complete cycle that like there's no resolution to it i guess from a from a, from a narrative perspective you can do that right kind of like memento-esque where it just kind of loops back on itself at the very end he's back in the same place but typically you have an arc to the story and it gets resolved in some way, meaning you could make the case for like, well, they put the bodies there so that this would happen so that the next thing would happen so that, you know, then they could know to put the bodies there. And then like, it just keeps repeating, but you have to imagine something is going to change or something is going to be different. Like this loop, because technically with the way, the time travel and the way it affects the past and the future and the way it affects the past and the future. Technically, you could make the case that this has happened like billions of times, right? This isn't the first 2019 that these characters have lived through because they've gone back in the past to give the doctor whatever, the little briefcase, and Houdini went back in the past to marry Hannah to have the kid. And he could have only gone back into the past to marry Hannah and have the kid if he was already older, a teenager, which would have meant that he would have been a teenager in order to go back. To the, like, so, uh, not a teenager, but, you know, however old he is. Maybe he's a teenager, 13 or something like that. So I would expect, like, some something is changing or something is different, like, this cycle. This would be 53. You son of a bitch. So, okay, so one go, okay. So then Ulrich is back in 53 and he's going to be the reason that this kid has his accident, which then moves him forward to fuck G. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Frag out. Yeah, I mean, you get the lunar retrograde Chinese New Year cycle, which means it's the year of the dragon in which we duplicate ourselves through the power of the cocoon. This is the Alter, in which the Antichrist his rulership begins. Music, something bad, cut to this guy in front of the church with the book. 10th of November, 53. 10th of November, 
So they found him the next day. Oh, and I didn't know it was Aegon originally. I just saw the beads and I go, this is a prayer beads. But then, yeah, if he goes to church and he has the prayer beads there, then it kind of makes sense why he would think all of this stuff is the work of the devil when he was talking about Satan as in the previous episode, you know, when he's older. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, like that. Are you covered in pee? <laughs> covered in pee? Is he gonna bite him? <laughs> Is he gonna bite him? <laughs> I heard this music before. This this thing played once before i forget when but i called it out i said this is this is one of the weirdest things i've heard the sort of the chorus thing that's going on i don't know they played this stinger at some other point when when some shit was happening were you looking at the woman in the red dress oh that's where we're moving my name is agnes nielsen <laughs> that's uh <laughs> that's uh that's uh it's pretty weird man <laughs> and the here and now linger for a little bit cut to interdesting with the glasses too and the bow tie and the sweater yes this shot lingering there for a little while longer kind of gives you a clue on that too but also his wardrobe and stuff matches with uh <laughs> i guess <laughs> You smell like pee. They even got this little thing here. Back in the day. That little guy. Which, you know. Cool. Do you want to bang? In about 30 years? <laughs> he left his coat from the future. Which is going to alter the course of my life to make future shit. Sie sollten sich eher fragen, wer etwas gegen den Bau des Kernkraftwerks hat. Des Kernkraftwerks? Ich sprach That's what I was gonna think. Es geht um die endgültige Baugenehmigung. Und da tauchen zufällig ein Tag Put the bodies there to make this look worse so they don't construct it, but... Leave my girl alone! She's mine! We're rid of him. And the dog. I just... What a dick! If this is all deterministic, right? If this is all deterministic, then that means I already know you guys are gonna support today's sponsor of Dollar Shit. No, I don't. I don't have a sponsor. I already knew that you would know that I know that you know that we're okay. We'll keep going. Stop. Uh, stop talking to her. I also like this. It's almost because it sounds like you've taken the tick or the talk. You've taken the clicking noise and you flipped it and then you dragged the tail out, which is now the start of it. So imagine you take that noise, right? But then you flipped it. <laughs> so then it builds up. The, the little clicking noise, it sounds like a watch ticking. And the way that it builds back up to it makes me think that that's what they did. They recorded that with a mic, flipped it, and then played it. Which, you know, I can't verify that. That's what it sounds like to me. Which would be pretty cool, like audibly to match thematically with what's going on with the show. 
So I guess that's what you could be doing with the chair, right? Try to break that? Because it seems like no one knows what's going on. I thought this guy knew what was going on. But it seems as if he's still trying to figure it out. But it seems like Noah knows what's going on. So maybe the chair that they're working on breaks that wormhole so he can actually do... Whatever it is he wants to do. Let me see these birds. Versus, like, these birds. This is where it was. I. This is where it was. That same sound shit was happening here. And these birds have all the spots on them, too. But they don't hear, as you would expect, because this is before. Like, they don't have all the white patches on them. Hey, man. Um, I'm gonna try to kill you. <laughs> and then, also, I mean, the entire, you know, as you sow, so you shall reap. What he's doing now is gonna influence from what the guy was saying, and, you know, he's gonna try to <laughs> deal with this, which is gonna cause him to have an accident, which is gonna cause him to teleport there so he's involved which is then gonna st you know just like me eating the starburst is as a result of 30 years ago i had a starburst because if you killed him then i'll feel better about trying to <clears throat> yeah so the the radiation part of it isn't there i mean they don't have the big white splotchy spots i think this is just what the bird looks like they don't have those like thick white patches from the radiation of it but the the ear thing when you you know when you use it i think is still there and they're still dying the same way they're just not getting irradiated from the power plant so ignore i'm just gonna ask Ignore the, well, it's all cyclical and it's going to do that thing. If you were a parent, would you kill this kid to save your kid? I mean, you would, right? I mean, you would, right? <laughs> like, you're going to have to, you know, if other people are around you, then you got to be like, well, you know, I, I would have to think about it. <laughs> but like, you know, you got to give it a certain amount of time so you don't seem like a psychopath. But I think anybody would. It's somebody else's kid. It's not my kid. I got to save my son. He's got the book in his pocket. Or, uh, you know, you saw the book when he's running. He did say it's you in the hospital and he did freak out because the last time it makes more sense because the last time you know this guy was above him like I got a little like there's like a uncomfortable feeling in my in my tummy. But I got a starburst. That dirty thing. Yeah, I'll never let that in the house. If I was wearing an eye tracker, I'm just staring here because this is like the most. Am I wrong? No. Like the way <laughs> this. This bra is just the most. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool too. When they show, like look at the color temperature, how warm it is. You can see the browns, you can see the greens. It's, it's very warm. And then compared to 
compared to like this, like this is super cool, a lot of blue here. And then especially here, like almost all the color has been taken out. Saturation is like dropped down. It's later in the day, but also removing a lot of the warmth because now this whole forest has a different like feel to it. Oh, I didn't know you partook. Get that 1950s. Oh, we just hung out all the time because we were best friends. Cigarette burns. Is that what that is? From uh, when she said dad is dead. Was abusive. Or maybe she smokes. What? This wicked witch, wicked witch of the West. <laughs> okay, I okay, I didn't. Okay. Aber das ist auch nur eine Theorie. I didn't expect that. Komm aus der Zukunft. I would tell you, I have to believe you, because that's why I wrote the book, because this other guy came from there, and that influenced me to research it more, and so, uh... <laughs> right, so then maybe the chair is the bad guy, I was being pretty reductive, the chair is the bad guy's way of breaking the wormhole, and this is the good guy's way of, you know, that's overly reduct reductive, but... That's going to be my new pickup line. I, I'm from the future. I already know that we're together. So, like, it's deterministic. <laughs> you can't change it. I think this is a really cool shot. I think this dude looks really cool. In a, like, a, he's, he should look like that when he did that thing. But I, I like that guy. So, okay, this is what I'm thinking now. Bad guy's version of breaking the wormhole is the chair. Good guy's version of breaking the wormhole is back to the future guy. I, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that... I guess I'm not surprised anymore. Uh, the title's pretty... Pretty obvious for what it meant. Like, the narrative of the clock guy describing everything and how it all relates. And then you see characters in the past, characters in the future, and how they're not the future, like Ulrich in the future going back, how they're interacting with stuff. But that also means that Helge went to 1986, I guess, instead of 53. He went right instead of left. So maybe... Well, we'll find out. Find out next time. But maybe Helge's going to 1986 to stop himself. From helping Noah or doing something else, he could do a lot of things. I don't, I don't know. And then feeding Hansel and Gretel food, plumping them up to just murder everybody. Okay, <laughs> just Terminator twoing everybody. I, I don't. I'm assuming she's the one going doing something. I mean, she's got. <laughs> She's stocked up for the apocalypse. And again, like pictures are not here anymore. So. She killed these people. And then because they're dead, they're not involved in the story. So we as the viewer who are seeing this one cycle no longer see these people because they're not. They don't like exist anymore. Like if the homie brought his dad back, he wouldn't exist anymore. Is that, you know, if I kill this person, they're not ever going to marry this person, which means whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean, but this looks like a picture of him when he was younger and it's not there. So I, this part, I'm not too sure of. His chick, I guess, doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. I don't know.
But it looks like she hasn't figured out that this guy's this guy. So that seems good. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it's a win. It's a win for the boys. I don't know. I like it. Uh, I like it. More questions. Few answers. More questions. We keep going.